So, hello world. What up, YouTube? Carbomb and G Funk here G -Funk, with Car -Bomb. some spectacular, possibly CNG jug wine. We decided last week that we were going to make jug wine when we realized exactly how broke we are and exactly how much of alcoholics we are. Um, we like to drink. We like to drink a lot of booze. So, what we did is we went out and bought some ingredients from a website that did not look reputable at all. And then... It's a website that looked like it was from, like, 1995 or something. Yeah, no graphics, just straight text. Yeah. It's pretty... <laughs> pretty sketch -festy. So, yeah. What we did we got is... got some wine and cheese and crackers, and we're gonna try this for the first time and record it so you can watch our see expression. our reactions and whether we uh, both uh, vomit spit it rage. back out right at you or if we decide it's tasty. Well, of course, in order to do a wine tasting with the wine and cheese, of course, we've got our American cheese slices, you know, of course, Keep it classy. processed, you know, all sticking together. I decided to break out the tux jacket on the t-shirt, which is GenesisRugby.com or .org. And then Tim's got the Irish, Irish tuxedo yeah. t-shirt. So we're trying to be as classy as possible for drug wine, but I mean, it, it, it is, is drug, drug wine. wine. So I guess so, uh, let's pour some of this bad boy. Yeah. Um, let's see, let, let me see the graphic real close up. That is CNG's Carbom and G-Funk's 3X jug wine. It took about a week to ferment. Um, just baker's yeast, fruit. Sugar, water. Um, highly active yeast. Highly active yeast, yeah. Just so, general baker's yeast. Um, we're going to pour it into our little rocks glasses here, which are hopefully... We don't have wine glasses. We're not really wine, wine people. But we're poor. We're about to be. Kind of. Sort of. Possibly. We'll see. It smells like wine. <laughs> it smells like... Uh... 34. Yes, this did not take 34 days or 34 months or... 34 hours even. It just took about 7 days. 7 days. And, uh... You are pouring us an awful lot of this. Go big or go home. <laughs> go big. <bigger. laughs> even though we're already home. We are indeed home. So that's about half a liter of jug wine that we just poured ourselves. Yeah. Um, it honestly smells like just about every other wine I've smelled. What do you think? It, it smells like grapes. It smells it, like wine, which is we'll impressive. So, can I have a cracker? Oh, yeah. Can I have a pellet? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we forgot to introduce someone. As you can probably hear, there's music in the background. That's actually our kick-ass landlord who lives downstairs, rocking out on the guitar. And you get free music. Yeah. Let me tell you, he rocks hard. And it kind of blows our minds. Mm. Alright. So my palate's all cleansed. Kind of scared. I am yeah. <laughs> horrified. I think we might die, which is excellent. But if you see us sipping and then all of a sudden very quickly run off camera, <laughs> we'll probably spit it out. <laughs> do we need a bucket? <laughs> they they usually do have those at wine tastings because you will I believe get you're hand. actually not supposed to drink swallow it. You just taste it, and spit, spit it. it. Yeah. But Word. We don't really want to spit in front of you. It's kind of in. And then it's just wasting booze. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. Over the lips, through the gums, watch out liver. Here, Here it, it comes. comes. Maybe out or maybe in. So take a sip and let's begin. Ooh, that was a good ride. That actually does not taste too bad. Very fruity. Um, so, 
We've never done this before. We just followed the instructions mm -hmm. what we found on the website. Some website. Like we said. It was really sketchy. Um, when we put the video up, we'll, we'll put a link to the website that we if, got the instructions from. If we can find it again. Over, um, I'm not sure which way, that over where the info about the that video way. is. I think. Yeah, that way. So, we'll put a link. Um, now, we're both legally of age in the area that we live. Uh, you don't need to be of age to buy the ingredients for this, but I would definitely say you need to be of age to drink it. Right, because this, we're not sure how potent it is. It does taste like alcohol. It does definitely taste like wine. Like booze, yeah. But, so, not going to encourage underage drinking, so. But we do encourage getting hammered if you are of age. It's fun, sometimes. It is. F but always fun. be responsible, don't drink and drive, all that fun stuff. But disclaimers to cover our asses. Yes, pretty much. So, so this is wine. Yeah, it took about eight days to make. Yeah, about eight days. <laughs> it's, it really doesn't taste bad. It's just the alcohol well, kicking my ass. The wine is. It has an aftertaste. I don't know. I'll give you kind of a closer look. It's very dark. And not like see-through. Yeah. And it's got a sweet taste. Very sweet taste. A little bit of a bite. Very bite to eat. We're about not to, bad. We're gonna try and drink this whole bottle and see how hammered we get. We'll let you know. Yeah, and you can stay tuned for our next video. We'll also let you know how bad of headaches we have in the morning. <laughs> that is true. But I guess our next video is going to be strictly for the Alfred.tv audience. They're well, it was... Primo it there. Yeah. We're going to do a tour of our apartment. Because we're really clean 21-year-olds. To oh, 22. Yeah. We uh, stated when we were on Skype with Alfred that our apartment was immaculately Immaculate, clean for yeah. two 21, 22-year-old guys. So now we have to put up or shut up. So... Yeah. Yeah. So fun. This has been. We're going to enjoy our crackers and American cheese and the rest of this wine. And this is Carbomb and G Funk signing out. Bird.